Leonardo da Vinci This is a Renaissance Florentine name. The name da Vinci is an indicator of birthplace, not a family name. This person is properly referred to by the given name Leonardo. Leonardo da Issa Piero da Vinci, more commonly Leonardo da Vinci, was an Italian polymath whose areas of interest included invention, painting, sculpting, architecture, science, music, mathematics, engineering, literature, anatomy, geology, astronomy, botany, writing, history, and cartography. He has been variously called the father of paleontology, ethnology, and architecture, and is widely considered one of the greatest painters of all time, sometimes credited with the inventions of the parachute, helicopter and tank. His genius epitomized the Renaissance humanist ideal. Many historians and scholars regard Leonardo as the prime exemplar of the Renaissance man, an individual of unquenchable curiosity and feverishly inventive imagination, according to art to historian Helen Gardner. The scope and depth of his interests were without precedent in recorded history, and his mind and personality seemed to us superhuman, while the man himself mysterious and remote, Born out of wedlock to a notary, Piero da Vinci, and a peasant woman, Caterina, in Vinci in the region of Florence. Leonardo was educated in the studio of the renowned Florentine painter Andrea del Verrocchio. Much of his earlier working life was spent in the service of Ludovico Il Moro in Milan. He later worked in Rome, Bologna and Venice, and he spent his last years in France at the home awarded to him by Francis. Leonardo was, and is, renowned primarily as a painter. Among his works, the Mona Lisa is the most famous and most parodied portrait and the Last Supper the most reproduced religious painting of all time, with their fame approached only by Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam. Leonardo's drawing of the Vitruvian Man is also regarded as a cultural icon, being reproduced on items as varied as the Euro coin, textbooks, and t-shirts. Perhaps 15 of his paintings have survived, the small number because of his constant, and frequently disastrous, experimentation with new techniques. Nevertheless, these few works, together with his notebooks, which contain drawings, scientific diagrams, and his thoughts on the nature of painting, compose a contribution to later generations of artists rivaled only by that of his contemporary, Michelangelo. Leonardo is revered for his technological ingenuity. He conceptualized flying machines a type of armored fighting vehicle, concentrated solar power, an adding machine, and the double hull, also outlining a rudimentary theory of plate tectonics. He made substantial discoveries in anatomy, civil engineering, optics, and hydrodynamics. Leonardo is widely recognized as one of the most diversely talented individuals ever to have lived. Leonardo da Vinci Childhood, 1452-1466 Photo of a building of rough stone with small windows. Surrounded by olive trees Leonardo's childhood home in Anciano. Pen drawing of a landscape with mountains, a river in a deep valley, and a small castle. Leonardo's earliest known drawing, the Arno Valley, 1473. Leonardo was born on 15 April 1452, old style, at the third hour of the night, in the Tuscan hill town of Vinci, in the lower valley of the Arno River in the territory of the Medici-ruled Republic of Florence. He was the out-of-wedlock son of the wealthy Messer Piero Fruosino di Antonio da Vinci, a Florentine legal notary, and Caterina, a peasant. 
Leonardo had no surname in the modern sense, Da Vinci, simply meaning, a Vinci. His full birth name was, Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci, meaning, Leonardo, son, of, Emmys, Ser Piero from Vinci. The inclusion of the title, Sir, indicated that Leonardo's father was a gentleman. Little is known about Leonardo's early life. He spent his first five years in the hamlet of Vanciano in the home of his mother, then from 1457 he lived in the household of his father, grandparents and uncle, Francesco. In the small town of Inci, his father had married a 16-year-old girl named Albira, who loved Leonardo but died young. When Leonardo was 16 his father married again to 20-year-old Francesca Lanfredini, it was not until his third and fourth marriages that Sir Piero produced legitimate heirs. Leonardo received an informal education in Latin, geometry and mathematics. In later life, Leonardo recorded only two childhood incidents, one, which he regarded as an omen, was when a kite dropped from the sky and hovered over his cradle, its tail feathers brushing his face. The second occurred while he was exploring in the mountains. He discovered a cave and was both terrified that some great monster might lurk there and driven by curiosity to find out what was inside. What most people know about Leonardo is that between 1476 to 1478 there is a gap in his life what happened to him during this period and why did he vanish? Especially when it was precisely during this period when he was just beginning to come into prominence, how could someone like him go somewhere and that there be no written evidence? When considering all theories, what could explain such behavior, what could make a man like Leonardo vanish without a trace for a period of time? Some believe that during his time away, he received tutoring from beings not of this earth. What we know for certain is that when Leonardo appeared in Florence in 1478, his creative output reached a whole new level. Going beyond art and extending to be a number of other disciplines, he would produce aerial maps of Italian cities with such incredible accuracy. He would design and build the world's first self-propelled vehicle and he would invent machines years and even centuries ahead of their time. So we need to ask us what was it that influenced Leonardo da Vinci that much for him to come back with another perspective and what was the secret behind his burst of creativity? Leonardo's early life has been the subject of historical conjecture. Vasari, the 16th century biographer of Renaissance painters, tells of how a local peasant made himself a round shield and requested that Sir Piero have it painted for him. Leonardo responded with a painting of a monster spitting fire which was so terrifying that Sir Piero sold it to a Florentine art dealer, who sold it to the Duke of Milan. Meanwhile, having made a profit, Sir Piero bought a shield decorated with a heart pierced by an arrow, which he gave to the peasant. painting showing Jesus, naked except for a loincloth, standing in a shallow stream in a rocky landscape, while to the right, John the Baptist, identifiable by the cross that he carries, tips water over Jesus ahead, two angels kneel at the left, above Jesus are the hands of God, and a dove descending the baptism of Christ. In 1466, at the age of 14, Leonardo was apprenticed to the artist Andrea di Cione, known as Verrocchio, whose workshop was one of the finest in Florence. He apprenticed as a garzone studio boy to Andrea del Verrocchio, 
the leading Florentine painter and sculptor of his day. Other famous painters apprenticed or associated with the workshop include Domenico Ghirlandero, Perugino, Botticelli, and Lorenzo di Creda. Leonardo would have been exposed to both theoretical training and a vast range of technical skills including drafting, chemistry, metallurgy, metalworking, plaster casting, leatherworking, mechanics and carpentry as well as the artistic skills of drawing, painting, sculpting and modeling. Much of the painted production of Arocchio's workshop was done by his employees. According to Vasari, Leonardo collaborated with Verrocchio on his The Baptism of Christ, painting the young angel holding Jesus a robe in a manner that was so far superior to his masters that Verrocchio put down his brush and never painted again. On close examination, by 1472, at the age of 20, Leonardo qualified as a master in the Guild of St. Luke the Guild of Artists and Doctors of Medicine, but even after his father set him up in his own workshop. His attachment to Verrocchio was such that he continued to collaborate with him. Leonardo's earliest known dated work is a drawing in pen and ink of the Arno Valley, drawn on 5 August 1473.